The journey to transgenerational wealth has been proven to be an exact science. His life has exemplified this. He has created a track record of rising from the lower echelons of life to the very corridors of financial might with his very life story inspiring others on this same journey. He is a business strategist, an investor, a real estate entrepreneur, and he is popularly known as the founder and CEO of Landway Investment Limited. His entrepreneurial journey began right from a very young age, trying his hands on several business ventures before striking gold in the real estate sector. In December 2020, Ayelara was appointed Group CEO of Oxygen Holdings. He is an alumnus of Harvard Business School, Metropolitan School of Business and Management, UK, and Lagos Business School. Landway, one of the most promising real estate company of the year, at the City People Real Estate Award. He has received recognition from Forbes Africa 30 Under 30, Future Award and Africa Property Investment Summit, among other achievements. Understanding the industry of functioning, uh, having a very uh, solid information as to the business that you're doing is very key because uh, information is what you leverage on that makes you stay ahead of our competitors. So apart from information, another thing too is commitment. And then be, being in the business, not because of the money, but because of the passion you have for it and the commitment you have for the business. Ladies and gentlemen, to show us how to fully position ourselves, wealth transfer shift. Again, in the theater of wonders, let's make a warm welcome. The most important thing is for us to get something out of this meeting, right? Yes. All right. Please uh, uh, just give me your attention for the next, maybe one hour. Just give me your attention. Do you promise to give me your attention? Yes, sir. All right. So some things that I'm going to be talking about today, they are not things that you don't know already. They are just things that probably you know them and you are not really paying attention to them, or you believe that they really don't matter. Now, and whatever I'm going to tell you this morning, uh, there are things that I've had to apply in my own private life and has given me results. Just to set the record so that it's easy for you to, it's easy for you to grab what I'm going to see. I was, I mean, I once lived in this town. So, I once lived in this town with no damn money. So, whatever situation you are in this morning, probably have been through worse. So, it's not like what I'm going to tell you, there are not things that I've not applied and practiced myself. I run almost a billion dollar company 100% owned by myself, so I'm just going to be sharing. And I really love information. I mean, I've been around, a lot around. I've had the privilege to sit with a lot of global entrepreneurs, global thought leaders, both in government and in private sector. So to a large extent, I think I have a little bit of uh, paraphernalia to back what I'm going to share with you this morning. It's just to set the, it's just to set the foundation. And you having a pastor like Pastor Richard is already putting me under a lot of pressure because I have to up my game. <laughs> so I don't come hide. What's that guy talking about? Pastor has taught us. So, but whatever it is, you will learn. All right. So now, I'm a thinker and I'm a doer.
The most important thing that I want us to focus on this morning, I'm not going to focus on your spiritual life. Because, let me, let me, I mean, to make you understand something, once you are born again, you are born again. There is no born again pro who max. There's nothing like that. You're born again, you're born again. Nobody is more born again than the other person. Everybody, same level. Because when you become born again, the Holy Ghost inside the, I mean, they, they don't distribute different kind of Holy Ghost. Because you are from Open State, your kind of Holy Ghost would be, you know, a little bit. So you're born again, you're done, you're fine. And to really bust your bubble, uh, what a lot of people consider breakthrough. You see, the breakthrough that a lot of people, 99%, 99.9%, the breakthrough you are looking for is money. Let's set the record straight. Is it not money? The miracle, the seven thunders, hallelujah, is money. Masquerade chasing you in the dream, you eating in your dream, it has nothing to do with your spiritual life. Because number one, once you are born again, all those things are irrelevant. It's not like God will be dragging your destiny with devil and saying, no, leave him. You know, leave him. He's too big for all of that. When he moves, he moves. He won't do it again. Do you understand? So, many of you make it look as if there's a warfare in the spirit and the devil is so powerful that he's dragging things with God. And your own God is he's not that powerful, you know, but he's, you know, you have to go to training to fight the devil. You know, they, 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 then, then God will say, <sighs> Second round, let's wait for second round. You know that kind of thing. And you are in that situation for seven years, for eight years, and then you're thinking that that's the way he operates. You know, they are, he said, Leave my destiny. And then God said, Don't worry, I'm still fighting for you. It's two years now. Maybe by four years, we'll solve it. No. You sing in a, I serve a living God, oh, even the devil. No. I mean, you sing all of this. So it's big. Describe, ah, biggie, biggie, God. You do all of that. You know he's big, but you, the, your mind is just not in the right place. So you think that, see, he that is above is above. You overcome this world. It's not a, do you know how many places my names have been? I do a very, very, a very, very, you know, scary. People used to think that that business is scary. You know, I, I, I mean, I do real estate. I do some other businesses now. But, I, you know, I do real estate. And then sometimes, you know, you go to one, one site. You have your name in Calabash. And I don't fast and pray. You put the name in Calabash and then put some red leaves. <laughs> we are bigger than all of that. And see, the only time you can even fast small. Small, fast, small. Is when you are dealing with wickedness in high places. You know those ones; they are higher ranking. <laughs> so, you apply fasting a little bit. You know, see, I'm trying to make you understand something. In this part of the world, we believe that God will move and wear your shirt for you. That's what you believe. Okay, don't worry. I'll get there. See, how will you feel? I mean, I mean, I'm doing well by the grace of God. I mean, really well. I mean, I leave domestic staff about 15 and all. So I, I, I live well. Do you understand what I'm saying? My house is about a three point something billion dollar uh, Nara house. So I, I, I live well. How will you feel? You, I mean, I have a car of about maybe 240 million and all. And then you are seeing my daughter. And, and she's looking tattered, unkept. He's just looking anyhow. I'm, I mean, God forbid, not my daughter anyway. But you know, but she's, then you just see her begging in the streets and all of that. What would you think? That, ah, this man is a wicked man. He's, not, he's so irresponsible. Huh? Is that not what you think? Uh huh. So, some of you, you think you have God and your life is not reflecting it. Yay! And you feel you're in between. God must be wicked. Let's leave it. God is not wicked. There's something missing. 
That something missing is what I want to fix this morning. Because you have God already. You should live large. When he died on the cross, he said, it is finished. You're calling him again for what? You are disturbing him too much. See, remember, there is joy in heaven over a new believer. Not there is joy in heaven when you buy a car. Has no business with heaven because those things are expected already. With or without you being Oh, you guys are standing? No, no, don't worry. <laughs> With or without you being... We, I mean, see, let me tell you something. We dep- if you... I know that some of you are students, and you decide not to read, an exam is coming, and you start fasting, 21 days fasting and prayer. <laughs> it's like, Libra da hirabo. You, you just... Go on and on and on. You're looking at the textbooks. You're saying, no, I'm just going to. Are you going to pass? No, no, no. You can actually pass. No, no, no. Because what God cannot do doesn't exist. You can pass. All right? Can you pass? Come on. I'm, I'm even surprised that we have mixed audience. That we are saying, some are saying no, some are saying yes. Will you pass? You will only advance in the spirit. And you will be a spiritual fool. See, born again have carryovers. They do. You will be born again. Tongue speaking is not God that is in charge of your carryover. You are going to carry over that course. And God will still remain God. He won't move. God will still remain God. If I, you can even have extra year and be the campus fellowship pastor. Because you are focusing on the wrong things. No matter how you put your, you, you want to cook rice, and then you just say, Ah, God of Elijah, send down fire, God of Elijah. You need to spark up that gas. No matter, try it. You know, one time like that, we're somewhere, and I mean, in a church environment, I don't want to mention the name of the church, but in a church environment, high, I mean, faith, faith church. And uh, we, we got to the ATM, and there's this lady by the ATM. She was just praying by the ATM. <laughs> At first, I was like, I don't really don't understand. Because sometimes people operate in madness, and they think they're operating in the spirit. No, 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 it's madness. So she said, so I, so we walked up to her, sorry, what's happening? He said, the ATM swallowed a card. And she's praying for the card, you know, to. And I'm wondering, whoa, what a fate. Because, so, I was, exp- I mean, I was thinking maybe there's one miracle that will happen. But I, I you know, at some point we got tired. And I, yeah, sorry, young lady, the way this machine works. Have you been, been behind ATM machine before? Once your card drop, it will take somebody to pick it up and give it to you. The card, the machine does not vomit your card again. It doesn't work like that. So sometimes people use, they think they are using faith, they think they are spiritual. It's pure madness. Just the way some of us are trying to use prayer to fix Nigeria. It won't be fixed. Leave prayers. He rules in the affairs of men, no doubt. But he doesn't rule in the foolishness affairs of men. In the foolish affairs of men, he doesn't. Nothing like that. See, I've been to different countries, both Christian countries and non-Christian countries. See, probably some of the instruments here, some of them are from China. See, in, 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 in one home in China, somebody can be worshipping about 15 different gods. You see, make your guitar. Where do you think the Yamaha comes from? You see, make the car you drive. Have you been to Singapore? Amazing environment. 
Amazing, amazing, amazing environment. Have you been to Dubai? Super. See, don't let me, don't be, the, don't say, ah, you know, we don't focus on this thing, vanity upon vanity. What is vanity? You have not tasted what is called vanity. No, you have not tasted vanity. Even the person that wrote that vanity upon vanity, he tasted every damn thing. So, don't, you don't, un, see, you have not even tasted the va. Honestly. See, God wants you to be rich and be good. And be very good. Do you know what vanity is? Oh, my, my God. <laughs> I've been to places in my life and you can only say that no. See, I believe that we all know it. You know, there's, God can never be in support of poverty. No. It doesn't advance anything. It doesn't, it doesn't advance anything. Just imagine that we have 50 billionaires in this church. Do you think we'll be inside this auditorium? Hey, my dream me. Pastor. Pastor, this place is too small for us. I'm telling you. Pastor will come and say, ah, you know, because we're this thing now, let's just say, Pastor, 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 we can do this thing. Don't even announce it. People build 15,000 auditorium in one week, oh, don't be deceived. One week, ah, tent. everything will fall in line. You know what money can do? <laughs> it, I come and be miracle. I'm telling you, you fly in a first class, ah, you will receive inspiration, you, oh God, you sleep in the finest hotels in the world where everything is, I wonder what heaven will look like. Because, see, the way this thing works, let me make you understand, please you can see that. So, let me make you understand this thing. So that you know that sometimes you are your own demon. And you're blocking your breakthrough. Nobody else is blocking it. Don't think that it's your, it's your stepmom. It's all those things. Pure rubbish. My dad used to think that my problem was spiritual. Irony, it wasn't spiritual. It was just something that I didn't know. You know, we just think that every problem is spiritual here. But yet... The small things that we do ourselves, we don't think of it as spiritual. Now, we are in earth space, all right? Some of you that are science, science guys, you know what I'm talking about. So this earth is, I mean, is moving around the orbit. When you go out of this, you enter into space. The reason they call it space is it's infinite. You can't see the end of it. So space, earth is like one tiny, small, tiny ball in, within the space. Hmm? So you have the moon and all of that. You have, where you, see, that's why people who have understanding, they do a lot. I mean, you look at America, look at all the countries that you all want to jack out to. They transform their country. You choose not to transform your own country. You want to jackpot to where it has already been transformed. I'm not saying there's something, I mean, there's nothing wrong in jackpot, you know. But honestly, there's more opportunities here. You don't have to believe me. After you leave about five years abroad, you will understand. So, within the earth and all that, you go into space and all that. So, you know, the Bible makes us understand that when God created the earth, everything was without form and void first and all that, and is, you know, gave all the major elements. Now, look at what the mind of man has been able to create. No, 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 let's just imagine it. What the mind of man, what the mind of man has been able to create. Every, the way you are sitting down, the way you, some of you last week you were sick, now you are okay, it's the mind of man. How God programmed man. Everything from the ground. Everything from the ground. That's why scientists will tell you that we discover. Is there already? They just discovered it. Everything is the way, see, the mind of man. I just got a Tesla Model X, the fastest SUV in the world. 
Man. Man. The mind of... See, look at this thing I'm wearing. I can tell you your temperature. If your heart is beating very fast, will tell you. Would, you know, contact your doctor. This thing is, is remarkable. Everything. The clothes you're wearing, the phone you're using. See, why do you think we call God Omini? Grandmaster. See, you can't tell me God is not a scientist. You can't tell me. You cannot tell me. See, just imagine that, I won't go into this too much, but, but I just need to use it to help your thinking because it's a deep level thought. And when you're not deep, if I take you to that realm, <laughs> I might not get you back. So let me make, so, but I will just introduce you a little bit, a little bit. What do you think that all the, some of the, some of the prophecies in the Bible was about? If you read Revelation. Okay. Let's rewind back. 1,000 years ago, if you tell Paul, maybe 1,000 or 2,000 years ago, or 3,000 years ago, if you tell, let's just imagine, let's rewind. If you tell Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul, down the line, I will be in church in Romans and put a, and then be able to talk to the people in the Corinthian church. What do you think Apostle Paul will say? No, no, that you'll be in Rome, in the Roman church, and you're going to call the Senior pastor in the Corinthian church. What do you think Paul will tell you? Babe, come on. This can't happen. Do you know that's what they would probably tell you? Now, if you read, and I'll not go past this one. If you read Revelation with a science mind, most of the things there, they are technology. Okay. I will drop you very soon now. I won't go too deep. I see a beast with two horns. All those things. What do you think the beast is? Something will come out of the forest and it's a beast. No. If you've seen a plane 3,000 years ago, how will you describe it? You've never seen a plane before, but how will you describe it? Hmm? You, you will, because you have not seen anything like that before. The only way you will describe it is what is around you that you have seen. And they are used to seeing beasts and all those things, all those dinosaurs back then. That's the only way they can describe it. Those guys have seen technology. They were, go and read Revelation again. They describe plane, plane. We'll go up with a roaring whoa. Have you seen a plane take off before? Have you seen a plane take off before? They were describing tech. God had planned all this. See, the mind of man, the most powerful element of you. You know, the Bible says that man is a spirit, has a soul, and lives in a body. Now, these three elements make up the human. Your spirit does, don't die. It's not your, see, your spirit is not particular about whatever car you drive. <laughs> your spirit doesn't care. It's not your spirit. Oh, is it your spirit that is driving the car? It's not your spirit. It's not your spirit. Are we clear? Yes, sir. It's not your spirit now. See, it's not your spirit that doesn't want to die. It's your body that doesn't want to die. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, your spirit wants to sing hallelujah in heaven and do, you know. So your spirit is not the one afraid of fear. I mean, afraid of death. It wants to die. Yeah, your spirit wants to be in that place where, you know, that fits it up. Your body component, that's the, only, that's the one you take care of and all that. When you don't take care of your body well, it does not matter. Your spirit will live. When the body dies, your spirit leaves that body and lives. Do you understand? Your, spirit, your soul is, is a very important element. It's connected to your mind, to your brain. Your brain is connected to your mind. Your mind is connected to your soul. That is you. See, that's why... When you become born again, you don't feel anything. 
there's no physical transformation. There's no, or you don't grow taller. You don't, you don't grow fine as if. <laughs> you remain the same. Yes or no? Yes. Your spirit can feel it. It's your spirit that you are edifying. It's your spirit that, because you need that, your spirit. Everybody needs their spirit. That connection, that relationship, that, that, that deeper. But your spirit is, if, if we take a scanner and we check some of you and we check your spirit, your spirit is extremely very rich. Your spirit is very rich. Your spirit is very rich. What's up with your body and your soul, man? You know, what's up with your body and your soul? What, 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 what's up with that? I'm taking you somewhere and you've got to follow me. Don't, don't lose out. Now, what you need to do, I'll tell you, what you need to do. See, one of the on top, I mean, is, the, is that brain. That brain is, is people, people really, people think they use it, but they really don't use it. What do you think is different between, I mean, last month I was in Harvard, I mean, spent my entire September in Harvard, and I had this classmate that just sold his company for, sold his company for, uh, I think about $2 billion, sold his company for $2 billion. Amazing guy, talking about the next move that he's going to make and all of that. Why do you think that guy is different from you? Why do you think that guy is different from you? Huh? Why do you think that guy is different from you? Actually, to shock you up, that guy is a, he, he's, he's not even, he's not even that deep. Like, let me just use that word. He's not even that deep. Has everything, one of the biggest guys in Brazil, doing amazing stuff. How do you preach the gospel to him, actually? Actually, people receive gospel here because of the level of poverty. You're poor, so you think that when you become born again, God will just credit your account. Has it ever happened before? <laughs> or they, you become born again, heaven credits your account. You don't get credit. You don't get credit a lot. It doesn't work like that. Has God ever appeared to you in a dream and given you money? God doesn't give money. Money is invention of man. We invented it here. I will invent it. It was God created all the elements, and we decide however way, all those in enabling and all that. Creation of man, everything, the, all the school you are going, God didn't create school. You wanted to become something, and one of the ways to become it is for you to go to school and learn something. He really he didn't create all those, all those things. He had done all the work, and then we are now setting things in motion. That's why. You have to understand how the economy works. Because you can die in penury if you don't understand how the economy works. How, what, what can give you money? The exchange of value. You have not done anything on yourself and you are going for an interview and you are praying. I will not pick you. You will like sit at the reception and will laugh. <laughs> if you even fast and come to the interview and they don't call you up by 4 p.m., Till 4 p.m. You know what will happen? Your mouth will even be smelling. The time you talk, yes, sir. Ah. <laughs> no. You know what I'm talking about. So, I'm trying to make you understand something so that it will help you change your life. Or do you need me to talk about uh, seven spiritual laws of. Pastor Richard has done amazing work. See, I see billionaires in this room. That's the way I see it. Potential. Potential. Your spirit is strengthened already. You've got a foundation already. Your spirit is where it's supposed to be. Already. You just need to keep, you know, coming, listening to the word of God, listening to the word of God, and all of that. And, you know, your spirit becomes more edified, more edified. That's, you know, that's all. It's done all the job. And even much more. But this morning, by the time I'm done, you know, I may think, so you decide for yourself. Because even, see, we will talk and talk. By the time we're done, you see? You know where your own weak, weakness comes from? 
something you can say, ah, fingers are not equal. Whatever will be, will be. You better don't, don't, Masari keke kolumoto. Don't run faster than your shadow. They used to tell me that I, I mean, I used to be very, I mean, they used to tell me that I was very ambitious. At 17, I started a business, and I'm like, kill only, eh? <laughs> Who tell you that you can't do it at 17? By 28, I was already a billionaire. 28. Bought my own house. I mean, incredible stuff. 28. So who tells you that you can't do it at 15? Who tells you that you can't do it at 20? Who tells you you can't do it at 25? Why must it be you want to wait till you are 40? You want to wait till you are 50? Some people like, want to enjoy it. It's better you enjoy it early and then enjoy it till the rest of your life. That's the way it works. Now, back to my line. Everything has been done. Everything has been done. What need to change? Now, this guy that sold his company for that amount and then talking about the next idea, as he was talking about the next idea, in that class, he raised another $500 million for the next idea. In a class of 140. Someone is saying, Yo, okay, yeah, that idea is fantastic. Okay, I, I'm, I'm going to invest in it $5 million. I'm going to invest in $10 million. $500 million. And you try share idea. Hundred thousand within your circle. They say, ah, they will tell you twenty-one ways. <laughs> the other will not say, ah, you think it will work? <laughs> Don't go and do it. So you think it will work? <laughs> your problem is just two, in dimension. See, your mind, your brain, and all that is not different from my brain first. I mean, I'm the one here now in, in this room. You don't know the other guy I'm talking about, right? So I'm the one close to you. And I'm from this town. I've lived in this town before. So I'm, I'm close to you. So your brain is not different from mine. And you can, I mean, I can't, how many things I've used my brain to do and what I'm still going to use my brain to do. I've got big plans, big plans, big plans. But I've, I know that there's, there are two things that you can leverage on, two things. You see, your brain, your brain determines the kind of circle you will be. Why do you think that, why do you think that probably not everybody can be my friend? Honestly, not everybody can be my friend. You might say, I, I want to be your friend, but I might say, <laughs> you can't be my friend. What do you, why do you think? Because you are not from my state, or, or, or what? Why? Why do you think people, people, people choose the kind of... Because sometimes, conversation, you are in a meeting and all that, they are discussing powerful stuff. You, or you are discussing the big brother. You know what just happened on Instablog. You know what's going on on Tune Head Not. You know what's going on on... You have a device, that device, you don't even need a physical library again because that's your library now. There's a lot of information, a lot of information that you can leverage on. But you know what you use with your data. How many, how productive do you think your data is? How productive do you think your data is? How productive? If you really want to answer that question. In fact, if you use iPhone and you check how you, probably it's on Android as well. If you check where you spend most of your time, you see that maybe Instagram, 21 hours. 21 hours on Instagram. Whatever breakthrough. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to do it. Except you want to learn how to become an influencer or something. I mean, because that's another market now. You want to become an influencer. You want to make an idiot of yourself and, you know, people pay you for it. It's an industry. People, if, if, if that's what you want to do with your life, why not? I mean, it's money you generate, but money responds to value. That's the way it works. If people believe that, you know, this thing, that's the way it works. Now, you see, the one thing I want to touch on today is your, is your mind and the people you build around yourself. You see, I would, and I'll just give you a little bit genesis about my own personal life. When I was a student, if I sit in this room, if you go to the same church with me, in two months, you notice the difference. 
How? There's certain things that I started doing very early. I opened a corporate account, I think at, by 18, I already started operating a check account. Check account. Sometimes you have maybe 50,000. Check account is check account, who cares? But there's something that does to your mind. People don't really pay attention to these things. But what do you think a millionaire would do or a billionaire would do? How do you think their lifestyle? I mean, how do you think their lifestyle is? How? What do, what do, you, what do you think? There are certain things that is standard. Standard. They are standard. But while I was a student, I probably bought newspaper till my final year. Business day and punch. Student, though, my allowance in a week was about maybe 1,000 or 1,500, and I'll still buy newspaper. I think it was 18 hours at that point, at that time. 18 hours. And I'll go into class with my newspaper. And by the time I got to 200 level, even lecturers would call me Mr. Wale because of the way I carry myself. By 300 level, I had, my, I had the same office, same size with the VC's office. I rented a place on campus, started doing, you know. See, you must do big things. See, experience, see, mistakes will increase your experience. Experience will reduce your mistakes. You must attempt big things. How big is your mind? How big is your mind? How big? If I call anybody out now and say, how big is your mind? Probably your mind just want to buy one one bungalow in Kolobo. I never had that kind of mind. You know, one day, I was pressing the calculator, and my mom was standing <laughs> behind me. <laughs> and I was pressing the calculator, because then I was involved in training coppers, I mean, NYSE guys in Ogun State on vocational training and all that. So I was pressing the calculator, like, ah, if I train, you know, 3,000 coppers a year, their allowance at that time was about maybe 17,500 or something. If I, if I collect, 3,000, 3,000 times 3,000, 3,000 other times 3, ah, that's a lot of money. You know, my mom was right behind me, I was like, oh my, yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> because I wasn't afraid of big figures. Big figures don't scare me. Because what your mind can, can't conceive is difficult for you to attract. It's just extremely difficult. Your, see, you can only go as far as your mind can go. There's, see, if by luck or by what people call chance, you go far beyond what your mind can carry, you lose it and go back to this, to that state of your mind, to that capacity level of your mind. People win lottery. What do you think happened? They lose it. Go and check the record. Do research online. They win lottery. 45 million, 100 million. Go and look at them again after six months. Because you know the things they will buy. <laughs> they, 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 just, they, they just can't keep it. They just can't keep it. We are 28, and, and I've never dropped for one day. And you can't call yourself a billionaire if you're not a billionaire globally. That when you cross from Nigeria to another country, you are a millionaire. When you cross from Nigeria to another, from that millionaire country to another country, you are a thousandaire. No, you are, no, you are not a billionaire yet. You are only a billionaire when you go anywhere in the world and you maintain that status. So you've got to be global in your thinking. Global mind. Because the invention of visa, all of that, our invented. Do you understand what I'm saying? We invented it. So it's not, it's border, it was borderless at some point, yes or no? People can cross from... Africa to Europe and it was, but, but, but you know, but because of how countries need to now restrict behaviors of other countries due to lack of their own capacity. See, you can't bring mad people to your country too now. If you only, I mean, because people have not developed their mind. Just the way you can't open your compound to mad people. If they open border now, America, they just say, okay, let's give everybody America. You guys will, so, sorry, not you guys, not people in this church. Some Nigerians will go to and crash. 
Because it's all in the mind. Because their mind is not trained for powerful stuff. Their mind is not trained for transformation. Their mind is not trained for extreme growth. Their mind is not, there's, there's no capacity. You know, one, one day I was at the American Embassy, I think it's from years ago, and there was this guy beside, uh, just in front of me, and he was just going, no, it was one afar behind me, and he was just going, he was saying something that I didn't understand. I looked at him, I'm like, the guy didn't even look at my face, he didn't even talk, he was just going, okay, well, I went to the front, Okay, thank you. You got my, you know, visa and all that. And I wanted to really see what, so I pretended as if I was going to the restroom. So I went to the restroom and they denied the guy. <laughs> because you, see, this is not a testimony, all right? No. It's not a testimony. It's a waste of time. Waste of, I think, church time, actually. You come, sing seven, hallelujah, they just gave me visa. Ah, ah. Ordinary police officer with American passport will cross to any country. Let's understand that. Let's not amplify these things too much. You get a car, it's not a big deal. We know that you have been working hard. You've been saving for the Ramoto. <sighs> Let's not amplify because these are normal things that normal people do, that you should do. The level you should operate in naturally. See, what you need to know is the fact that your breakthrough is sorted already in the spirit. Do we all agree? So, what do you think is affecting it? Let's be truthful. Because until you agree with me, if you still think it's spiritual, Pastor Richard is anointed to break yokes. We'll call you out now, they will break it. Once it's broken, go and operate. I can't break it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> can't. Pastor is, I believe Pastor Richard is more spiritual than I am. So, I'm just a business guy. So, I think the demons will live faster. So if you believe that he is one demon struggling, your, we'll break it now so that we can move on. How will you believe that something is tying your destiny to a tree somewhere in your village? Yes. <laughs> and let the Holy Ghost take charge. Yes. So we all don't believe that, right? No. Oh, some people are like, ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, even if it's by, if you're having a spiritual problem, hmm, and you don't have the required information, you can live on that level for long. I'll tell you a story. Back then when I was in school, maybe probably I dated a girl that wasn't happy with the way we ended the relationship. Maybe. I can't say. It's just hypothesis. So, I used to dream that, you know, when I sleep, some girls would just come and carry me, carry me, carry me, carry me, carry me, carry me, carry me. <laughs> you know, and I wake up, I'm like, ah. <laughs> I'll sleep again, they'll come. <laughs> <laughs> no jokes. And I'm like, ah. I couldn't tell anybody. You know, I, I, I did all, I mean, all I could. You should have Jesus, then you wake up. Then you sleep again, they'll come. Really, <laughs> really. Then it, you know, then it was just happening almost like two weeks. That by the time I want to sleep, I'll be like, hey, hey, hope these people will not come. And I'm like, you know, they just come, carry. <laughs> then one day I was in church, and uh, and my pastor was doing a teaching, and he was teaching us the word and all of that, and you know, and I got a particular scripture. One scripture, I was so energized that I'm like. Ah, today, come. <laughs> Guess what? That was the last time, honestly. Because the moon, see, the revelation of the word gives light. Yes. Study to show yourself approved. A workman that didn't know to be ashamed. 
rightly dividing the word of truth. It's light. That's all you need. Because even you can be on a level, and even if your masquerade is chasing you, go and look for scriptures that can address that masquerade chasing issue. See, you know, he gave us a command that uh, what's your sword of the spirit? The word, right? The, breast, uh, the brass plate is what? Eh? The helmet is your salvation, Abby. You know, that's the way people go to war in the olden days. You know, there was no gun. So probably if there's gun, the apostle have described it like get your AK-47, your bulletproof, is this and all that. Your gun is your, is your Bible. That's your, I mean, that, yeah, that's it. Because they use sword then, because it's sword they use in fighting. So your Bible is a gun. So you can fire it at will. Alright? Now, when you're fighting, let's go back to the sword. When you're fighting and you have no sword, this, that sword is missing. You know you have salvation. Your helmet is there. Your shield of faith is there. You know, your, everything is intact. And you are in a fight. You, you can't win. Because they are by the time they beat you left and right, you, li- you lose your stamina. Yes. Unless you can fight back with that sword and kill. Because it's the only, it's, that is, I mean, the sword works faster. That's the way it is. When you lack the word, you, you're gone. So you can have a Bible and not have the revelation of the word. And because you don't have the revelation of the word, things are happening and you, and you, and you can't fight. And it's not by pointing Bible. Boom! I ba- you watch too much Mount Zion movies. <laughs> African magic. That's the problem. The, see, the Bible is just... The power is not in the Bible. I mean, in that book. The power is in the word that comes into you. And, you know, it mix. Yeah. And then you, you, can, you can... It's not, you know, <laughs> one of my... <laughs> One of my pastor friends, he was, he did this popular teaching that I saw on social media, and I, you know, called him, and we had a very good laugh about it. That when something is about to happen, all of you that like uh, Ashake, they, they never see me call me Buga. When something wants to happen to you, you are going on the road, accidents are about to happen. We shout Buga. <laughs> Jesus. Because you, you know, let's focus on the real thing now. Oh, oh, we shout. They never I, I mean, are you really going to shout that in a terrible situation? You will, it, will, it will not even come out of your mouth. Say, Jesu! <laughs> That's what you're going to shout. Because all those things you know carries no power. <laughs> and you are focusing on the things that carry. You can sing as I care from A to Z, all the album. The book of Genesis should never finish. Yeah. Eh, wah, wah. <laughs> they can sing a shake for them. <laughs> and they mix your destiny like, you know, the devil play music, you need to be dancing. <laughs> you know, back then in secondary school, say, ah, are you here on Joe Brick Dance? <laughs> you know, it's, it all depends on your choice. But the real deal. So I'm going to set the foundation that you have everything it takes already. Can you pray? Can you pray? Yes, Can you fast? Yes, Do you know the word? Yes, no, don't say yes. Small. <laughs> Be truthful. Mm. I know you can pray. Maybe not. Because some people cannot also pray. Ah, come and pray for us. And they have to. <laughs> come and pray for us. If you need to lose balance, it shows the level of your prayer life as well. Come and lead us in worship. Then you go to primary school days. All the song, because that's the only thing you've done consistently, and it stayed with your brain. Say, good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. When you begin to sing old song, we know, we know. Oh, deep. God, even good morning, Jesus. who tell you that good morning, God is waking up and sleeping? He never sleeps or slumber. So by the time you are waking up, some countries, they are, in, they are 
they are sleeping. And God is not only global. God is universal. You are saying good morning. Oh, God, good morning, Jesus. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. So we have this, all the spirit stuff that we need, right? Uh -huh. So we all agree. So there's nobody here that is afflicted by any spiritual problem. Are we on the same page? Yes. It's very important that we are on the same And if you still believe, go and see Pastor Lita for cancelling that. Sir, that guest speaker does not, does not know what he's talking about. Last week, I encountered... They, they called me in the dream and I appear. <laughs> see, for the fact that they call you in the dream and you appear, there's problem, number one. Why will they call you? Are you not tired? You are lazy. <laughs> no, no, no. If they call you in the dream and you appear, you are lazy. No, honestly, you are lazy. You've not worked. If you've worked, totally rare. When they call you in the spirit, you are snoring. You don't appear. You will not appear. They will call to 10, you will not appear. Guess what? Because you are walking. They call you in the dream, you are appearing. You are lazy. You are lazy. You know, by the way, I mean, we used to be afraid of eating in the dream. Eating in the dream. <laughs> ah. Regular. What do you do inside menu? You eat and you eat. You don't you because when some of you eat in the dream, hey, the blood of Jesus, the blood of African magic. When you see cat, oh the blood of Jesus. When you see bed, oh the blood of Jesus. Then you begin to drink anointing oil like Gogoro. I mean wrong with you. My house in England, I have almost seven cats that come around, black, white, they just come around. Even sometimes we drop food for them, they eat. In the night, some of them, will, e -e -e, we don't think about anything. But you, you are, you are attached. When you see black cats, when you see black bed, you say, ah, bring petrol, bring petrol, let's burn it. Even after you burn the black bed, your situation remains the same. I mean, you burn the black bed, something to change about your life. But it remains the same. There's, there's, it's not the bed. Free animal. Le. Ma <laughs> Honestly, don't. Because we focus too much on that. And then. Uh, blah, blah, blah. See, you think that. The Bible says that his, his hand is not too what? His ear is not too. He's not, he's not deaf. I tell you, they look. He's not deaf. <laughs> on what? So your problem is not spiritual at all. Because I need to break this thing before I make you to understand the next thing I'm going to talk about. If I don't break it, some of you will still be believing that it's spiritual. See, Say you believe that your pastor is not spiritual. You've been coming to this church for more than, even if you've been coming to one month, and the devil is still chasing you. You give anointing service, you will come. Holy communion, you eat. Wasting spiritual resources. <laughs> you, you will call pastor in the middle of the night. To be praying and be praying for you. Pastor, knowing that this soon. Because when you, are, when you are energized, you don't even give pastor problem. You think that pastors like problem? You think that, okay, pastor too, on what are the solve only your problem? No. Because when, when we pray for you, receive it in the mighty name of Jesus and all, blah, 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 blah. Go. If I do that for you and you don't prosper, something wrong with you. I will not pray for you again. No, honestly, because you are wasting my energy. If I see, it's easy for God to work with people who are extremely energized in their mental capacity than for God to work with somebody that is ignorant. My people will perish for lack of knowledge. One day were spiritually rich. One day were physically broke. Zero balance. 
Brook, Brook, Brooklyn. <laughs> where this thing is, where the real, where the real power is, is that be a student of economics. No, see, money flows in the direction of value. Money, the money you are looking for is flowing in the direction of value. That's why they call it currency. Flows in, in the direction of value to make money. If I tell some of you that it's easy, some of you look at me and say, ah, who is he? I'm telling you, see, I used to hustle very hard. I built businesses in this town and all that, did all kinds, until something changed. I would create a program, do flyers, and then do fasting and prayer to back it. You know, you want to do a program, I would design flyers and all of that, and I would pray and all that, and HHC will not come. One day I invited two speakers from Lagos to come and speak and all of that. The program was supposed to start for 10 o'clock, 10.30. I, I was by the window. Ah, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, then I begin to call some of my friends. Just to, I was able to get three people. When I called personally, they sat in the hall. I was going to the room to take the, the guest speaker. Please. I got so worried. You know, I was very angry. I'm like, God, I thought I fasted and prayed. What's going on? 2010, I was at the experience. I lost almost 800,000 in one night. 2010. Experience concert was going on. God was in the atmosphere, but my business was not moving. <laughs> Actually, God doesn't, there's no, he doesn't, you will just be angry and later you still find your way back to God. You only be angry for this because is your anchor is a good father. He's a good father. He doesn't change anything about him. God is not moved by your emotions. He's not moved by sentiment. He's not moved by all of that. He can be praying and all that, and then you begin to say, God, you cried last year. If you don't get a new information, they cry again this year. It's a new year, new resolution. My year of supernatural, amazing wonders. <laughs> it will be happening for other people. It might not happen for that person. Because it's even for what, whatever, it's easy to say. If wishes were us, beggars, right. It's easy. The real deal. Let me go into it now. You need to spend a lot of time building yourself up. See, one of the biggest things that can happen to you, you can read your way out of anything. Poverty or anything, you can read your way out of it. Reading, I'm telling you, be, consume knowledge as if your life depends on it. Knowledge. Knowledge. Now, people would now be like, ah, See, by the first time you carry a book, and if you are sleeping in this meeting now, see, that one is spiritual case. <laughs> Do I <joke> bear? <laughs> when, when you read, there's something that does to your mind. See, if I tell you. If I tell you now, come, bro. What do you do, sir? Hmm? Real estate. Real estate, yes, sir. Ah, so you are in my industry. So you are my competitor. <laughs> okay. So come. You understand? Come. Thank you, sir. Bro, there will be a time that you know two plus two. It's not possible. No. There will be a time you will not know two plus two. It's not possible. Ah. You won't, there will be a time, two plus two, it will, be, it will be difficult for you to answer. I don't believe that, sir. <laughs> two plus two. Four. Two plus two. Four. Two plus two. Four. In Jesus' name. <laughs> you need to forget this two plus two. The, the devil will come and appear. 
to you and you will forget the two plus two. It's not possible. Four. Bro, I just prayed. I'm anointed. <laughs> I've got power. I know Babalao. <laughs> Forget it. Four. Four. Gotcha. Thank you. When you have knowledge, nobody can take it. It transforms your life. And you begin to get results more than any other person. Because the, just the way you can't forget, you have studied two plus it has been, it is principle already. You don't need to think about it before you answer. That is the way knowledge is. Because everything you attempt in life will require, see, if I give, sorry, come again, sir. You know two plus two and it's four, right? Do you, if I give a four-year-old, if I give a two-year-old, or, or, or probably a three-year-old, do you know that two plus two? One, two, one, two, two, two. One, two, three, four. That's the way it will work. But you have so much relate with 2 plus 2 yes. that you don't need to count your fingers again. Yes. But at some point in your life, you learn 2 plus 2 by counting your fingers. Yeah. That's the way you learn 2 plus 2. But now, you don't need to... Your, see, if you are sleeping and you've been sleeping for three days and they just wake you up, 2 plus 2, we say, 16, 16. It's impossible, you know. All right? Yeah. Go and sit down. So when I see, I've been to meetings and I tell people that, guess what? You that be your grand deal. I can never be poor. It doesn't take any. I can never, 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 ever, 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 never, never be poor. Is impossible. See, anytime life will bring challenges your way. Normal, standard. Challenges will come. But when, a ch when you are facing a challenge, see, when you are in anxiety, I showed them something in the office. When you are operating in anxiety, you know what has happened? You have low skill. Your challenge is high. Anxiety. You have low skill, but your challenge is high. See, if we bring anybody up and say, bro, come, you are going to teach us today. You know, you'll be shaking, you'll be like, ah. some of you are going to be like, ah, what am I going to say? What am I going to say? Because it's not something that you do regularly. It's not something that you've developed capacity for. So you become very anxious. When you are, when you are, when you are, when you are in control, when you are in control, your skill is at par with your challenge or your skill is beyond the challenge you have. You know that if I ask you three plus three, you know you are in control. Yes. But to a three-year-old, three plus three, they will struggle a little bit. Because what? They are not in control because... They are not in total control because the challenge is higher than the, than the skill, that, than what they've been exposed to. So most times, what you need to get when you're facing, when you're going through tough times, you're going through a challenge, you need to look at your skill. Life will give you challenge. No man. Anytime you find yourself struggling, there's something with your capacity. Maybe some of you, what you will struggle with, I won't struggle with it. To pay rent, I don't pay rent again. I, I only pay for people. I collect rent. I don't pay it. So sometimes, what you are struggling with, some people have developed skill. 
and capacity that is no longer a problem to them. They are in control. There's a level also beyond control. It's what is called flow. Flow. When your skill is, you have potential, potential, and you can handle almost anything, you know, okay, some of you, you are doing one business or the other, right? It might be difficult for you to raise 50 million or 100 million. Do you think it's difficult, I mean, it's difficult for me to raise 100 million? When overdraft alone is 2.5 billion, I mean, bank is giving, if you use it, sir, like, take, just take, we just want to give you, if you use it, just in case you need it, OD, overdraft, just in case you need it. You know what they call OD, overdraft? The bank gives you in advance that if you need it, you use. If you don't need it, it stays in your account. We have given you. But yet, some people want to get 50 million, 30 million. They want, they, I mean, they will ask you for your parents' birth certificate, the, your grandfather's house, your great grandfather's house, and bank is giving you OD without asking for anything. That just take. When you use it, fine, you pay. But if you don't use it, you don't pay. What's different? Capacity. So when you when and I was at some point I couldn't raise. See, one day I think I've shared this story many times. I was scrolling through my phone. I it was only 50k in the money though. 50k. I needed only 50k. I was scrolling through my phone. Nobody to call. Then I, then I realized that I only have phone record. I don't have contact. <laughs> it's phone record. You just go into your phone. You need 100k. Why do you have their number? Iron sharpened iron. Okay, they are saying, okay, I think my time is up. Iron sharpened iron. Iron sharpened iron. So when you have people on your phone and they are not iron, what do you think is the problem? They are not going to sharpen you. They will do, these are people that will come, borrow your shirt, borrow your boxer, borrow everything borrowable. No value exchange. See, if all I've said since you didn't get anything, know that information is important. It will increase your skill level. Why are you in school? Because you are learning something so that people can pay you for what you've learned. Because the reason why you get a job is because they believe that you've gone to school to study something for five years. And because you've studied it for five years, you know enough about it for them to pay you for it. Yes or no? That's the way it works. So what do you know? What are you studying that life can respond to you? See, it's not about, I, I mean, I used to tell people that, focus on whatever you like. Whatever you like. Focus on whatever you say you are passionate about, you're passionate about. See, if you don't understand how the world works, you just focus on the wrong thing. It's not everybody that is paid by passion. Sometimes you focus on passion. Passion will turn to passion, will beat you. You just be, passion, you just be a, a broke, passionate guy. You're passionate about singing. You never blew. You don't go find something where go put body and soul together first. You are in one of the greatest countries in the world. Don't join people who tell you that, ah, there's no hope for this country. Something is happening in this country. We don't even know where we're going again. And you think that your hope is there. Uh, you want to go to London, you want to go to America. You are, you are, see, the fact that what makes life balance is some people must create problems and some must create solutions. That's what makes it balance. See, you think that the, the, the COVID virus was from heaven. It wasn't from heaven. Some people cultured it. And some made billions of trillions of dollars out of it. And to she pencil. To she reza. Some people must create 
problem. Some must create solutions, but don't be part of those that are creating problems. Do you know our population? What, see, when we say, I want to go into, see, okay, let me draw for you before I just run up. There are three sectors that you need to really, really look into. Forget passion. Look into these three sectors. When you blow, you can do whatever you are passionate about. But go towards where the direction of cash. Every time when you get money, you spend it on, there are some, there are some things that is constant. We all spend in that direction. Yes or no? Even if there is war, we are going to eat. If there is war, we are going to eat. We all need a place to stay. People don't joke with their health. Health. People, do, people don't joke. With, I'm not saying that you look at what another person is doing and then you try to replicate it. There are about 10 industries that you can focus on. I won't give you all the 10. Go and use your head and do research. From education, transportation, entertainment, and all. I mean, they are all in this 10. Now, when you focus in this, see, within these first three, there's a big value chain. You know what they call value chain? Yes. Value chain. In shelter is Alico, supplying cement, somebody is manufacturing iron, somebody is manufacturing towels, somebody is manufacturing POP, somebody is manufacturing electrical, somebody is doing plumbing, somebody is doing all of that. There's a big value chain. Now, what a lot of people don't do is that because Mr. A is doing a business and you are seeing the way he's doing it, you also go into the same business foolishly. Ah, he's doing pure water. I can also do pure water. There's no research. So you go into the business and the business don't survive. Five years, in fact, three years, the business is gone. And you think that something afflicted you. Then you are thinking, then you go into another business. Today you try makeup. Tomorrow you are a photographer. Next tomorrow you are, you are, you are MC. You're doing all sorts of things. I'm, 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 I mean, I'm not saying there's no value in other businesses. But me, I mean, I've said that I can't do any business that can't buy me a private jet. I'm, my energy is, I can't waste my energy. I love big money. Great turnover business, I like it. Let your turnover record be 100 billion per annum. Do kind of, uh, big things, big mind. Now, when you look into all this value chain, Deep study, don't look at it and say, Ah, you have one idea, and in the next, see what kills a lot of people's business is that they don't really focus on studying to understand. See, why do you think that you'll be in the same class with a lot of people, and somebody will be somebody will carry first, another person will carry second? Hmm? What what differentiates? Huh? Study level. The study level, the more you go in depth, see, some of you can never go past the first page on Google. You are doing research, oh, where is, and then first page on Google, you think that that's all to it. Where another person gets to the 20, I mean, 30th page on Google, they will know something that you will not discover. See, I was in a library recently, and, it, and, and this library had this library is in, uh, I mean, Harvard Library, 8 million books. No, what am I saying? 80 million books. 80 million books. You can imagine. Six levels above the, I mean, deep down in the ground. Into the ground. Six levels. Each level, book, different. You can imagine. Because hey, that thing that you want to do, somebody is already doing it. Somebody has, they, they must have written something about it before. Because Google is the Solomon of our time. I tell people, there's nothing you can learn on Google and YouTube. It makes it very fast. I was once a student, I was once in this, but the only, what makes the difference? It's not because some people are more, I mean, I'm more born again. It's not because I'm more decent. It's not because I'm more spiritual. No, that's not the way it works. It's, there is information that I'm trading with. There's a level. See, sometimes, don't be too busy that you're not learning something new. Last month, I was locked in Harvard for one. My case study was how many case study? Hmm? 
Hmm? 34 case studies, right? All in all. How many pages per one? Hmm? No, how many pages per case study? 34 pages PDF. There are, no, 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 you're not getting me. You're not getting me. There are some of these case studies that has about 80 pages per one. And you have over 100 of them to study. And you can't go to class without studying these case studies, the one for the day, or else you look like a fool. Because you have to discuss it in the morning. If you are not used to these things, in fact, they will even admit to you in the first place. You, you can imagine. You do, and if you understand my schedule, the kind of schedule I run, sleeping for me is luxury. Sleeping for me is investment. When I sleep, it's investment. So sleep for me is luxury. So, so you, I mean, you can understand. But you can't be too busy. Because when you focus on, you are working, you're working, you're working, you're working, and you're not going back to sharpen your axe. It will, take, it will only take you more time to cut down the tree. You apply, boom, boom, based on one, then you go back again, sharpen it. Boom. You go back again, you will cut it down faster than somebody who is consistently, you know, without going back to sharpen the axe. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've learned something. Have you learned something? Yes, it has not been a waste of your time. All right? In all you pick from these things, your life can change in one year. Your life can change in two months. Your life can change in six months. Focus on, see, focus on, deep, I mean, deep. When I was in my final year, everybody, there's this yearbook. Everybody is asked to fill the yearbook. I was the one that filled the yearbook last because I wanted to read what everybody would put there. It's just apropos anyway. So I needed to read what everybody would put there and I decided to verbalize my own. So I stood in front of my old class and I said, before I'm 30, I'm going to be a billionaire. And you can imagine, final year students and then you are, everybody is writing down something and then you are trying to verbalize your own. Hey, I was messed up. Some had the laugh of their life. <laughs> you have not even been mobilized. You are saying, I was looking at them. Some were sitting at the back. They were laughing. Some were tapping each other. <laughs> My old idiot. I'm telling you. But guess what? I did it at 28. I actually achieved it. But I wasn't saying it because I'm trying to run a confession. Speak it. When you speak it, you do the work. Is it, see, faith without works. Uh -huh. When you say it, it's in the universe already. And you do the work that is required. Leave the rest for God. God sends the rain. It's beyond your capacity. The one that is within your power, sow your seed. Clear your field. Put your seed in the ground. And expect God for rain. Is rain now beyond your power? See, it's easy for God to... See, like I said again, if God is going to give... If you like, be 40-year-old, be 50-year-old. If you don't know 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 7 equals... God won't give you that equation to solve. If there's a 7-year-old with the same... I mean, that has that information and that know that, how to solve that information... God will give that problem to that person to solve. So it's not by age. It's not by age. It's by what you are exposed to. How you are training your mind. Focus on that. It doesn't matter. Don't expect magic because God is not a God of magic. He doesn't. He doesn't perform magic now. If God can perform magic, then you should you say this chair in the name of Jesus, turn to yellow and it will turn to yellow. God is not involved in anything like that. He's a God of process. Precept upon precept. Lines upon lines. Do you understand that? So you focus on doing the work. See, don't be afraid of anything. Dream. As far as your mind can go. Dream. As far as your mind can carry. Dream. If you like, say you want to be on Forbes. I once dreamed, I mean, I once dreamt about it. I got on Forbes. 
You can dream it. I have dreams too now. I have dreams. At some point, at point I'm going to be governor of this state. And it's not by just coming and saying, you vote for me. He process me. But I understand what it takes. Not that you just appear. It's not only money. You build root, influence, and all those things. You move with the people that you're supposed to move with. They respect you. It will, it will happen. That's the way things like. I have dreams too. I have aspirations. You can dream as far as your mind can carry. But when you dream, understand the amount of work that is required. And, both, and don't see, your dream determines the level of work you will do. Because while I was in school, reading newspaper, going from conferences to the other, attending a church that can transform my mind and doing all of that, I wasn't blaming people that, see, I would go out every morning, 8 a.m., and come back at night. It was at the final year when my parents came to pack my, you know, things, that people within the same company that I was a student, because they thought I was working class. Because students will go out when they have lectures, based on their lecture time. But I would go out in the morning just like a working class. But I wasn't blaming people who, is when they have lectures, they will go out, you know, triangle students. I wasn't blaming them. I was involved in a lot of things. But my dream also made the difference. My dream determined the level at which I will walk. You know, one day I was going out with a guy, and then we we're just walking, and I told him that, you know, these are the things I want to achieve. And the guy looked at me and said, Do you think these things are easy? I mean, it's just very easy. But I was doing the work. But I can't blame him because he has not conceived that kind of dream. So he, he, so he doesn't understand the level at which I'm working to achieve everything I'm trying to achieve. So dream, when people see, back, back, I mean, back then in church, they used to call me Uche because I can sell anything. I look at guys, I will sell you shirt, sell you suit. I was like that. I was already making about 70K per, I mean, 70K a month for myself, even as an undergrad. I was involved in several things. Even when I was living in this town, you can't see me, I just say one boy. I'm not the one boy because of the way I carried myself. I started employing, I mean, I started employing people at almost, eight, I mean, 18. Employing people at 18. Not like I was paying the salary regularly then, no. <laughs> You're still in process. You do all of that, and people will wonder, why is a guy that, they don't know the kind of dream you have. Your dream determines the level of work that you will do. Don't be afraid. Dream as much as you can do. But you will only be foolish when your dream is big and your work is small. You will only be foolish when your dream is big and your capacity is small. Big dreams, big capacity. Nobody gets there by mistake. Know that. Everybody process. Even all the entertainers, uh, I mean, entertainers that you envy. All of them that you envy. Go and check the video. He started... See, they were in the studio. When them, uh, well, the guy is raining then, Two-Face and all of them, they were in the studio rehearsing. Life is a... Ma I mean, I mean, what was it? Relay. Right? People hand over baton. Nobody reigns for life. Some of us, we are going to take over from Aliko. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are going to take over from Aliko because you can't run. See, that's the way it is. But when you are running a, a relay, who do you hand over to? The person that is just waiting, chilling. He's already running after you. And then it's easy. You can't look back. But it's easy. You, you just give the baton. And then the person takes off. Bah! Because if the person is just relays, the person that will give you the baton will run past you. And you have to run, right? Is that not the way it is? And then you have to run after and take over that baton. If you are not prepared, you're not prepared. Nobody hands over to somebody that is just chilling. There are people that you need to take over from. Who is that person that you want to take over from? What are you doing now with your life that will prepare you to take over? Because don't envy some of us when we take over, it is not Yahoo. It is nothing. No, see, money ritual cannot buy you a house in banana. I have not seen. If I, if I do Yahoo plus, 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 there's a limit to it. And it doesn't last, Seth. By two years, people are ready. Ah. Yesterday, you should rock in now, but how come today you are begging for bread? That's the way it works. Anything that you have refused to work for, you lose it. You lose it. That's the way it works. 
So don't envy people that their life is being transformed and don't think that it's everybody that is, that is, you know, that is getting a breakthrough, that is using something. Mm, mm. See, when you see anybody that their life has been transformed and all that, and you're, the first thing you think is that, hmm, mm, we don't know how they got it though. That means that you, have, you believe that no capacity of man can achieve that thing except they had one or caught corner. If your man, see, back then in school, I would wait after service, I love cars. I would wait after service, I would look at cars, I'm like, wow, wow, what a nice whip. Nice, nice, and I begin to dream, and I begin to dream. You know how it's dropped on people's conversations, hey, you know, I just go back from London last week, I'm like, ah, London last week, they one church lady. You know that kind of, I, you know, I was just dreaming with my mind. I wouldn't believe that maybe somebody has achieved something, and it because, even born again Christians, when God opens the door for somebody, you are the first person that would think, you would think that is the devil. Can the devil give anything good? Even if they give it, it's just a mirage. It doesn't last. It's only God that gives good and perfect gifts. And every good gift is from the Lord. Don't think about it that way. Because your time will come when you do the work. It's only a matter of time. I'll see you at the top. Thank you.